Yoke Range National Park is a mountain range on the island of Borneo. It is located within the boundaries of the Malaysian state of Sabah, the northern half of Borneo. It is named after W. M. Crocker, who was governor of the British North Borneo. Crocker Range National Park was established in 1984. It separates the west coastal plains with the rest of the state of Sabah. The park covers almost 1,400 square kilometers, making it the largest park in Sabah. The park consists of both hill and mountain forests, with many species of flora and fauna endemic to Borneo, including the two species of Ralphasia. Ralphasia is a genus of parasitic flowering plants. Ralphasia was found in the Indonesian rainforest by an Indonesian guide who worked for Dr. Joseph Arnold in 1818. He named it after Sir Thomas Stamford Rafflesis, who was the leader of the expedition. The plant has no sterms, leaves or true roots. It's a holoparasite, spreading its absorbic organ inside the tissue of the vein. The only part of the plant that can be seen outside the host vein is the five-petaled flower. We didn't come here only for the Rafflesia. Crocorange is also known for its moths and other fauna, like this black scorpion. At Crocorange headquarters, there are a lot of educational features. One of them was a plot with rubber trees. When the sun went down, the fun began. We expected a lot of frogs. Unfortunately, there were almost none. We didn't came to Crook Range to see frogs, but for the moths. To attract insects at night, we use the mercury vapor light and a white sheet, which is quite easy to attract insects. Besides all the moths that came to the light, there was also a couple of Siamese rhinoceros beetle. The Siamese rhinoceros beetle is a species of large scarabee beetles. Males can grow to be 4 to 6 centimeters long. 
When disturbed, they make a hissing noise. In Thailand, they were used to fight. That's why they've been called fighting beetles. Unfortunately, we weren't the only ones who liked all the mods. The first morning, the birds figured out how to get the easy meal. Here are some birds eating hog moths. During the time of our stay, there were a lot of adult birds feeding their young ones. This is probably why they all came to catch moths on our sheet. Here is another bird getting its breakfast. Even the shy white-breasted water hen came to take a look at all the breakfast snacks for its young ones. But it was a hard to catch when you're scared all the time. There were other birds who didn't feed on the mats. Here's a yellow fented bobo. Besides the moths and beetles, there were also a lot of other insects in Poker Range, like the termites who built this tunnel. And a lot of different stingless bees who are important pollinators. Stingless bees make their home in hollow trunks, tree branches and underground cavities. The entrance is made from sand that they glue together with their saliva. Thank you for watching DS Nature Productions. I hope to see you soon again.